Well, hey, everybody. This is Chris DiFurio with Keys to the Shop. Welcome to another edition of Shift Break. Today's episode is brought to you by the Ground Control Cyclops Brewer from Voga Coffee. The Ground Control Cyclops Brewer is changing the game for batch brew coffee and more. It is basically rewriting the expectations that we have for coffee equipment. Um, Not only does the SCA award-winning technology extract flavors from your coffee that you never thought possible, um, just amazing performance in this machine. It gives you unprecedented control, but it also has a lot of versatility in that on top of making game-changing batch brew coffee, it also can make tea, hot chocolate, batched ice lattes, cold brew. And as we look for stability and resilience and versatility in our businesses over the years, this is the kind of equipment that you need alongside you. So if you're all about quality coffee, you want to level up your batch brew and get something on your counter that has unmatched versatility and control, then I definitely recommend the Ground Control Cyclops Brewer from Voga Coffee. Go visit them at their website, vogacoffee.com. That's V-O-G-A coffee.com. Today's episode of Shift Break is also brought to you by Espressly. Espressly works with independent coffee shops just like you to help you develop your very own beautiful, functional, and custom branded mobile app. Mobile ordering is becoming, if it hasn't already become, an absolute necessity for so many businesses. There's no doubt that you've probably thought about this yourself. Uh, The only problem is that when you do uh, have a mobile app, sometimes you have to sacrifice that experience factor. And that experience is what your customers come to you for. Well, Espressly comes in and puts the experience with the convenience of mobile ordering. And this is a no-risk model. There's no setup or development fees. It works with some of the best payment processing companies out there. It has a drive through payment scanner, receipt and label printing capabilities. And on top of that, it stores the value in the app and you get to keep all the data. So again, this is a huge win for you and your customers when you give them that custom branded experience and the convenience of mobile ordering through Espressly. To find out more information and sign up today, go to Espressly.co. That's Espressly.co. Okay, everyone. Well, I wanted to talk to you really quickly today uh, about wholesale and specifically how important it is to be honest with your wholesale clients. And on the face of it, you might assume that you would be honest with your wholesale clients. uh, But I happen to know that there's a lot of motivation to sort of wink at some things that you see your wholesale clients doing in their shop. And in particular, this tends to start with the quality of the coffee. You know, I've worked for lots of different coffee roasters, and you know, if you're a roaster who has a wholesale program, some of your accounts are not doing the greatest job with the coffee. And there's a line at which you, I guess, do have to say you can't really control them and you do need to do business. And so there's a whole spectrum of people who do both in a amazing job and then some that you don't necessarily think do a great job but they are paying customers and so I understand that there's a fine line to walk here but when it crosses over into being detrimental to your brand then you have to sort of put a stake in the ground and kind of confront the issue and like I said over the years working for roasters I know that there's been accounts that have just had to be you know let go basically because it's just like people keep having a very bad experience at this place and it starts to sully the brand you have to be able to make those types of decisions um, as painful as they may be because the long-term consequence is more costly than the short-term gain of that person's uh, money and by the way if they're not really doing a great job with the coffee I'm going to guess that that's the same person who's not really paying their uh, bills on time. That's another story, though, uh, for another podcast. What I think we need to do, though, from the very beginning is dedicate yourself to being honest with them as soon as you start the relationship in terms of what kind of training you give them and get them into a relationship where there's consistent feedback about how they're doing with your coffee. A lot of the times when we find out that something negative is happening with our wholesale accounts, we're kind of blindsided by it. We don't realize that it's happening. And we need to be honest enough to tell them when the coffee that they're making is not that great and how they can fix it. And of course, it's up to them whether or not they take that uh, information from you. But the point is, is that the relationship from the beginning, if it's based on, hey, we are going to give you honest feedback because we believe that a great professional relationship should be based on honesty. And we're doing that because we want to be able to see you be successful. And that's why you're using our coffee. 
you know, we're assuming that that's why you want to use our coffee. And part of that is tapping into our expertise and our opinions, you know, based on our expertise about how your baristas are doing. And now beyond quality control of the actual beverage and the actual product, there's also uh, service points and other things that wholesale clients are going to want from you that you can offer to them as as helpful suggestions. But for the most part, people want your opinions on things like uh, the beverages, and they'll you know do their own style of service and other things. So by basing your relationships in wholesale on honesty right from the very beginning and putting it in writing and putting it in the conversation, in the long run, you'll have people thanking you for holding them to high standards. Um, you know, the old days, there was just this mentality of, you know, if you were breathing and you had money, we will give you our coffee no matter what. And you can skirt this issue by being a white label roaster. So it doesn't really matter because the private label doesn't really reflect back on you. Uh, I suppose that works. But when it's your coffee and it's highly advertised and it's your name on the line, Um, And frankly, when it's specialty coffee on the line, we need to take some measure of responsibility to bake into our relationships this kind of communication that is honest, straightforward, and not afraid of having maybe awkward conversations about the um, quality of coffee that's coming out of our wholesale accounts. And let me add this too. It's a two-way street. Having honest communication goes both ways. And so when you establish this kind of communication with them, they're going to want to have the same kind of avenue back to you to tell you how you're doing, how they feel your service to them is as a wholesale provider. And, you know, that's really, really valuable. Um, Not very many wholesale supplier relationships have that kind of honesty. Um, same as a boss and employee relationship usually doesn't have that kind of honesty unless the boss, and in this case, uh, it would be the wholesale provider, is it taking the first step to say this is going to be a cornerstone of our relationship, two-way communication, honest communication. They get the benefit of receiving your feedback on how they're representing your product, the quality of it, and you get the benefit of having them give you feedback about how you're doing as a wholesale provider that will help other accounts as well. So be honest with your wholesale clients, let them be honest with you, put that in as a cornerstone of your business relationships, and I think we'll all win in the end. So I hope that this episode was helpful for you. Thank you so much for taking the time to listen today, and I will see you here next week on another edition of Shift Break. From keys to the shop.